Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a look at more Xbox related content. And this time we're going to be talking all about that extra disc. So if you don't know, the Rocky 5 installer here will give you an option to build an ISO image. And for the most part, what people do is they get themselves some sort of USB DVD drive, and then they burn the disc, and they physically put that into their Xbox system, and they're able to access those additional features. If you don't have one, what can you do? Well, you can actually mount that ISO image on your Xbox. Let's take a look at how to do that right now. Okay, so here is the Rocky 5 Xbox soft modding tool. And if you scroll down here a bit, you'll see there's a couple of options. So you can build it from the source. So sometimes what folks do is they download that file and they run this thing called the build release.bat. Now I've already downloaded this and I'm not saying you should, but right here I run this bat file and what it does is it creates that ISO file that I would need to burn to my DVD writer. Now there's an easier way. So if you go to this Google Drive, you'll see there's an Xbox soft modding tool extra disk.iso. Okay, so you don't even have to build this thing yourself. Click on the download button here. And while you're at it, you may want to take a, just a quick peek in here at the extras. And we're going inside that zip file. And they've taken the guesswork out of this. So all you're going to have to do is download this zip file in just a second. And it tells you where to put the ISO image and so forth. Let's go ahead now and let's see what some of the instructions looks like. And it says you'll need to download the zip file and place the ISO inside of it as well as there's a detacher folder that's used to remove the virtual image. No worries, we'll do that in just a moment. So head on back into the extras where it says extra disc attacher. Just go ahead and right click on that and then select the download button. Once you've done that, if you would like, you could go into documents here and you could go ahead and grab that run X ISO from hard disk drive dot text. That way you just have the instructions in case you need them. Okay, so taking a little bit of a closer look here, it said again, you're gonna need to download the extra disk attacher, and then you're gonna place the ISO inside of the Xbox soft modding tool extra disk folder. And it says there is a detacher folder. And so basically that unmounts that DVD drive. So it's not always mounted. Okay, so jumping into the download folder, what you'll see is I do have the extra disk attacher.zip as well as the ISO image. What I'm gonna to do to make things just a little bit easier is I'm just gonna copy these back into the original folder that we were working with in part one, where I talked about soft modding your Xbox. So let's copy those. We're gonna go back into my OG Xbox folder and we're gonna paste them. We're gonna go ahead and extract that zip file. And let's go ahead and copy that ISO image because we're gonna need it in just a second. Extra disk attacher and then the Xbox soft modding tool extra disk. Drop that ISO in there and you can just delete out this file right here. Okay, so it's nice and clean. These two folders right here is what we're gonna to need to FTP into our Xbox. Now on your Xbox, more than likely, you should already see something that says your IP address, especially if you're plugged in. So if you don't know what your IP is, there's a couple of ways to figure that out, but for the most part, you should be seeing that number on your dashboard. Now we're gonna to need to FTP to it. So I use this tool called FileZilla. It's absolutely free, works great for Windows machines. So I have went ahead and already created a connection, but I'll walk you through how I made mine. So inside of Site Manager here, you'll see I use FTP for the protocol. The host is my local IP address. Login, as far as the encryption goes, make sure you use only use plain FTP. And for the username and the password, it's just gonna be simply 
Xbox. Once you've done that, hit the connect button. And now you see all of your drive, the E drive, and then over to applications. And now we're going to drag and drop both of these over into our applications folder on our Xbox. Okay. And just copy. Okay. So it shouldn't take too very long in order for those both to copy over. If you just want to double check, you can go into each of the folders and look to see if the files are still there. All right, let's go ahead and let's head over to our Xbox and let's try this out. Okay, booting up with that amazing animation at the beginning. Don't you just love that? This is what your Xbox should look like if you followed my guide before. We're gonna go to applications and there we go. We've got two additional options. The Xbox Soft Mod Tools Extra Disc and the detached virtual disk. And again, remember, we haven't had to burn an actual DVD in order to get this. It's just mounted that ISO image on our Xbox. So we'll go into this Ares initializing, and here it is. This is the extras disk. A few things that you may want to do at the beginning is go to install applications, and you may want to grab this DVD to Xbox. So this application, and I would go ahead and just put it probably on my E drive. And with this application, obviously you won't need to buy the Microsoft dongle in order to play DVDs. This will allow you to play DVDs with no dongle. So you might as well grab it. Okay. So we'll go back now and let's go to dashboards. We're going to pick evolution X and we're going to install that to our E drive and just give it just a few seconds here and we'll have a brand new dashboard that we can take a look at. Now this one's not as popular as another one that I'll show you, but I'll just show you this one really quick. You wanna say yes to this. This is basically going to remove any of the previous dashboards that you had. All right. And just a few more things before we leave this menu, go in to the advanced menu and you're gonna see there is this option here, which is highlighted, it says, to default factory state. This is if you want to remove your soft mod from your Xbox. This is something a lot of people look for. There it is. There's one other option that I also noticed that people look for a lot. And that is if you scroll down to tools, TSOP flasher. So if you want to TSOP mod your Xbox, then this is going to be another place that you're going to be going to. Okay, so I think we've seen just about enough. Let's just go ahead and let's reboot this Xbox and get into our brand new dashboard. Okay, and this is the screen that you'll see once it launches back up again. And again, we can go into like something like games. We'll see that we still have our NFL Fever 2003. And there is system utilities. And there is a bunch of skins that comes with this. I navigated through a few of these just to show you which ones that is available. This is obviously one of my favorites, which is the Simpsons. Um, but there's all kinds of other really cool uh, uh, themes that's in there for your dashboard. One that looks like Apple here and pre-modded Ghostbusters because why wouldn't you love Ghostbusters? Let's go ahead and let's install another dashboard. So you're going to need to go back into your applications and then rerun the tool. And here you will see we've got Xbox soft modding tool. This is that extras disc. And we're going to navigate down here to where it says unleash X. Okay, and hit A. And then again, we're going to go to E. We're going to go yes here. And we're just going to let this finish. Shouldn't take too long. And we're going to remove the existing one and point it to this and then hit OK. And we will have our brand new dashboard. OK, so now you can reboot and you will see your brand new dashboard. This is one that's very popular uh, for some reason, uh, but I know a lot of folks want to use this dashboard and this theme. Okay, so now I believe you understand how to mount that extras disc. You didn't have to go out. You didn't have to go buy one of these. You didn't have to go get some DVD-Rs. 
and open up and download a program called Image Burn or any of that other stuff. Now you have access to it completely over FTP and it read the disk right off the hard drive. So with that being said, I want to say thank you for hanging out with me here today. Smash that like button, smash that subscribe button and leave a comment down below. I greatly appreciate it. Until the next one, Michael. Oh!